this beep is not the vibe to remove turning it off. <laughs> Are you sure it's not seatbelts? <laughs> it's this. Oh, hello. God, Ella. I'm nervous. More beeping. Where's the handbrake? Oh, <laughs> Ella. Where is it? Stop beeping. Why is it multi beeping now? Is it that? I feel like I don't know how to start this vlog because this is like so surreal that we're here. I'm just like, hello, welcome back to another vlog from absolute paradise. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new here. If you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. If you are new, hello and welcome. Good morning from the beautiful Cook Islands. We literally just arrived. It is 9.12 a.m. I'm really confused with the time difference. <laughs> the Cook Islands is just across the international date line. So we have gone back in time by almost like a full 24 hours. I think it's like 21 hour time difference from Sydney. So it's 9 a.m. in the morning on Tuesday. We just got here, but we left at 9.30 p.m. on Tuesday. So quite literally reliving this whole day. My Apple Watch is so confused right now. It says I've been standing for 17 hours. <laughs> But yeah, I'm so happy to be here for the next week. I'm so excited to explore. We've seen just like a glimmer of what the island has to offer and it looks stunning. We're staying in the most beautiful villa, which I'll show you guys, I'll do a little tour. I feel so lucky and so honored to be here. I'm here with a bunch of other content creators, which is super cool. Um, and we're all here thanks to Jetstar and the Cook Islands tourism. So biggest thank you to them. I feel like the Cook Islands is one of those very hidden gems. I only know about it from when I worked as a travel agent. We would sometimes get inquiry about the Cook Islands. Other than that, like I, I knew very minimal before coming here, but I feel like it's one of those places, especially now that Jetstar have opened up a direct route from Sydney to Rarotonga, it's gonna become so much more popular. It's only direct route from Australia. Um, and when you see this place, like it's absolute paradise. So I'll give you guys a little villa tour. So starting off outside, this is a cute little, Veranda area, look how pretty. It opens out into this beautiful pool. Stunning. We come through, got a little living area, a little wardrobe situation. There's a place we're staying at, it's called the Ocean Escape Resort and Spa. A little TV moment. Cute little kitchen with my bestie. <laughs> She's just, oh, absolutely she's hilarious. just a work, <laughs> working mum, <laughs> trying to provide for our kids. We haven't eaten yet, so we just cooked up some breakfast. This is the bathroom. The bathroom's really nice. How is the shower? Oh wow, that's so cool. It's just like a little touch. Also, the towel rail is hanging. Oh, stop it. Yeah. Stunning. Cute little bathroom set up. Love. Wow, that shower is huge. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it has a seat. We can prop your leg up. Lovely. A little under the cupboard storage. We've got a set of stairs where Olivia just fell down. We got laid as we were arriving. So sweet. So pretty. And we have the most beautiful view. Look at that. Like, how is this real? later we just took a rather large nap because we needed that we were running on like one hour sleep and took a good shower freshened up now we're just adventuring
guys it is officially day two on the cook islands or i guess like our first official official day here because we landed at like 7 30 yesterday that was the longest tuesday of my life i was so confused <laughs> we'd spent a whole day in sydney and then a whole day on the cook islands it's the longest tuesday ever best tuesday ever and now it is day two we had the most amazing incredible meal last night at a place called tamarind house we also went to club raro for cocktails plans for today are to go see sea turtles we're going scootering with sea turtles which i'm not sure how that's gonna work <laughs> I googled it as soon as we got the itinerary I was like what are these sea scooters I need to know I'll give you guys a visual of a sea scooter just to show you what we're about to experience I feel like there's different variations we've got like the big bad boy ones like these which I don't think it's gonna be like that or there's like little ones <laughs> like this <laughs> just to like propel you through the water. So we're going on a turtle sea scooter safari today. And I'm so excited. We have a bit of free time this afternoon just to kind of do whatever we want. And then tonight we have the night markets. So a fun day ahead. It's a perfect mix of like planned activities that we get to do as a group and then going off and kind of doing our own thing. I'm not gonna wear any makeup this morning because we're just swimming, but I'm trying to get my face to match my body unsuccessfully apparently. <laughs> That's the worst part about tanning is the fact that your tan on your face just comes off so much faster. I need like more of this <laughs> packer on. But yeah, I slept pretty well last night. It took me a while to fall asleep because of the time difference. I was still quite wide awake at 11.30, but it was like 7.30 Adelaide time still. They said to wear secure swimwear because obviously you'd be jetting through the water. So I have like a little rashy zip up top. I'm taking no risks today. <laughs> one wrong move we're gonna have to blur out all the footage i've got my gopro or like gopro it's a dji action 3. so cute i haven't actually used it in the water before so we're gonna give her a spin hopefully we'll see what we can do i'm just gonna be focusing on trying to stay afloat to be honest ready to go all secure i'm actually i think i'm gonna just go up already <laughs> this is a disaster <laughs> I was just gonna wear this, but now I'm second guessing it anyway. I've got my one piece on with just little shorts, my cotton on, beach shirt, hat. I'm gonna go grab a coffee. Do you wanna say hi to the vlog? Hi vlog. My bestie. Should we talk about the elephant in the room? Yeah, address it. Where's Nick? Where is Nick? Look. <laughs> kind of girl just say out of the best way. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Saved by the bell. <laughs> No, seriously. Like, as much as I love my husband, and we're not getting a divorce. I've no. seen rumours. <laughs> Have you really? Yes, no, someone you said, haven't. is everything okay with you and Nick? Oh my god. Yes, guys, everything wow. is okay with me and Nick. He's just a working man, and we're about to leave for America in like next month. Yeah. So, and he may or may not be coming on another trip with me soon. So, he's not forgotten. I've just, could a girl not hang out? Like, I love being married. I, Nick is my best friend. Not my best friend. Oh, sorry. <laughs> not, my best friend. <laughs> not my best friend. Not my best friend. But I think it's important to like still hang out with your friends. Yeah, for sure. This is a trip of a lifetime. Like Olivia and I go way back long before Nick. <laughs> We've been friends for like 20 years. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Can you guys all please turn your speed to the second, to the third, and back down to the first? Awesome, guys. Nice. Now, can you guys all pick up the sea scooter? Can you guys press and hold that trigger for three seconds and then put it back down on the seat?
just got back from swimming with the sea turtles you guys that was incredible honestly up there was like one of the best experiences of my life we got so close to them and there were so many so many little fishies it was unreal we've just quickly stopped back at the villa to grab a couple things i left my big camera here so um we have the afternoon free before we go to the market tonight so i think we might go check out some other lagoons just go for a little dip we still haven't eaten breakfast and we didn't get a coffee this morning we went to go to a place and um it was cash only so we need to get cash out and then go get a coffee and something to eat and do some more exploring but honestly incredible <laughs> ocean swim just freshened up i'm wearing this cute little set from cotton on that i showed you guys in my last vlog i have this in a green and a white color as well it's cute the shorts fit well as well for a tall gal yeah. just choked my hair up because it's so humid and i've got my little gold hoops my necklace that my sister got me for christmas and we're just about to head out to the muri night market we're gonna grab dinner meet up with the group I'm excited. It's just hot outside. I'm ready for the frizz. The humidity does not agree with my hair, but yeah, we had the best day. Sea turtles, which I looked back on the footage. We got some insane footage. I'm so excited to edit it. And yeah, just went and did our own thing. It was so nice. Just like pull up on the side of a road and that be what you see. Like the, oh, it's incredible. Anyway, off we go. Friday Australia time. I'm not entirely sure. We are up bright and early. It is Thursday at 6 30. Um, because we have a full day of adventuring. I'm so excited. We're off to an island called Atutiki, Atutikai, something like that. I'm probably totally butchering that. We'll figure out how to pronounce it. I think it's like a 40 minute flight, so we have to get a little plane over and then we're spending the whole day there. I think we're doing like a cruise, some snorkeling. I'm so excited. <laughs> Mm. We just arrived on our 
first island of the day. This is stunning. Unreal. It's beautiful. Unreal. The water is so clear. And we're just going to be island hopping on this cruise boat. Home, as in we're back in Rarotonga, my little day trip to, I still need to nail my pronunciation, Atutaki, Atutaki, I think is how you say it. That was incredible, 10 out of 10 recommend, even just doing the day trip like we did, it was so beautiful, absolutely stunning. The tour guide as well was incredible, his name was Ali, he was hilarious and just like so just such a positive, all the people here are so positive and so welcoming. It was amazing. We basically just did six hours of swimming and snorkeling and I did catch a bit of sun. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm just seeing myself for the first time. I literally reapplied sunscreen three times. My mom was gonna be so mad at me. I was even wearing a hat for most of my swimming because I could feel myself starting to like I think all of us are gonna look a little rosy. On the plane ride home, it was like a 40 minute plane ride. I can see everyone just slowly starting to turn redder and redder. So I think we're all gonna have some gnarly, gnarly sunburns, but yeah, it was incredible. Literal paradise, like the most beautiful crystal clear turquoise water with the most beautiful white sand beaches I've ever seen. And we had the best lunch, like traditional Cook Island food. It was so nice. So yeah, it was such a fun day. We have about half an hour right now. Olivia's just in the shower. Um, we have about half an hour before we have to head to dinner. So we're gonna quickly freshen up, um, try and maybe cover some of this. Or do I just go with it? Like, this is me, you know? Anyway, just thought I would check in with you guys. Cause I feel like this vlog has been a lot of me being like, oh, we're going off and doing this. And then a few clips. I actually don't even know what this vlog is so far, but I have seen little snippets of footage I've gotten, especially on my GoPro that isn't a GoPro, a Digi, DJI Osmo Action 3, I think it is. But just the few snippets I've seen from that camera. I'm so excited to edit all the footage and just to have those memories to look back on. Like this has literally been a trip of a lifetime. None of us, like none of the creators or anyone that they've brought with them have ever been to the Cook Islands. And I think we can all collectively agree that this is one of the most beautiful places we've ever been. I'm just having the best time. I feel so lucky to be here. And it really is all thanks to you guys. So thank you for watching my content, liking, subscribing, commenting on any posts, following me on Instagram and TikTok. Like none of this would be possible without you guys. So thank you so much. And yeah, just feeling very, very grateful. And very sunburnt, apparently. <laughs> Friday, finally nailing the day. It's only taken me all week. Another morning waking up in absolute paradise. It feels so good to be here. We had the best day yesterday. Dinner was so nice. The vibes were great. Everyone was just like chit chatting, cocktails. The food was incredible. We went to Muri Beach Club Hotel. It was so nice. It's probably one of the best meals we've had so far. I did really enjoy that night market though too. We had um, Ikamata, Ica I think it's called, which is like this traditional um, raw fish in like coconut dish. It was really, really good. Honestly, all of the food has been really good. Um, but yeah, the group's kind of splitting off and doing different activities today. Some people going for a hike, some people are doing quad biking, which looks really fun. And we are hiring e-bikes. We're just gonna go around the island. We're gonna explore everything at our own pace, stop off wherever we want to, wherever the wind takes us and have ourselves a day. We do also have a massage this afternoon at 2.30, which I'm so excited about. Little concerned with the sunburn. It's so bad. I can already feel myself like crisping up. I'm so annoyed. We were all so good about applying sunscreen, like three, four times we reapplied, but I guess if you're swimming in the sun for six hours, it doesn't make sense. So you're probably gonna get a little bit bad, aren't you? So yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. I'm excited to bring you guys along. One thing we're determined to do is to find a good 
iced coffee. Some people in the group were raving about Beluga, so we're gonna go there today. And if it's not good, we know who to go to. <laughs> e-bikes 10 out of 10 recommend if you're ever visiting the island to hire the e-bikes even for just a few hours it yeah. was such a great way to see the island from like a different perspective yeah. just go at your own pace we're more inland so we could kind of see like the back streets so basically the island is like one big main road that goes around in a circle and then the back streets are like where the locals live yeah. it was really cool and if you want to see the wildlife as well yeah we saw like cows <laughs> We cows, saw cows dogs. <laughs> well, what do you need? Neither of us have ever used an e-bike before, and it was so fun. Yeah, I kind of want to get one. It, I know it makes you feel like you're really fit, but you're not. You're not doing the anything. The bike's <laughs> doing all the work. Anytime you feel a little lazy, you just pull on the throttle, and you're like, <laughs> no pedaling required. Yeah, it was so fun. But anyway, we have about an hour before we have to have a massage. We have a 75-minute like full body massage, which I'm so excited about. So we're gonna chill out freshen up then we have an early dinner mm -hmm. and then we're doing something really fun tonight stay tuned <laughs> <laughs> From the survey to try. I'm not sure if these are from the Cook Islands or they're just snacks we've never seen before. So we thought we'd do a little taste test. This takes me back to um my trying American candy tastes yes. yeah Yes. Yes. I think I read on the packet, I think it's from Fiji, so it's I don't know how authentically Cook Islands this is. <laughs> We've got strawberry creams and hokey pokey squiggles. Cheers! <laughs> oh, very pink. Mm. Do we like have something that. similar like this at home? It kind of reminds me of like a melting moment, but not melty. With strawberry. Which, yeah, so not a melting <laughs> moment. <laughs> oh. Yum. Yeah. That's really good. It's like mm. soft on top. And then it's got like chewy bits mm. in the middle. Mm. I think this one's my favorite, but I do love chocolate. And I love strawberry. That's why. It's best friends. Okay, <laughs> <Yes>, that's all. <laughs> Good morning, you guys, and happy Saturday. It is our final day here on the island. I've just finished getting ready. We're about to head out to the market. So I'm wearing this cute little fit from Billy J that I showed in my last vlog, I think it was. Just a cute little matching set. I've got all my gold hoops that Nick got me for Christmas, my necklace that my sister got me for Christmas, my usual key sunglasses. I've chucked my hair up in a bun because my hair is not agreeing with the humidity, but yeah, we're about to head out. We have the rest of the day free to kind of go off and explore, get some last minute content. I'm not sure what we're gonna get up to. There is a fudge factory, which I've been eyeing out. We keep passing it and I'm like, hmm, I am partial to a bit of fudge, so we'll see. But yeah, happy Saturday. I can't believe this is our last day on the island. I feel like we just got here, but equally like we've been here forever. I think because we've done so much in the few days that we've been here, it just feels like we, we belong here. Like I feel like I'm just getting my bearings with the island.
we just finished at the market and we've come to the cafe which is like part of this art gallery it's really pretty we're getting it brekkie and coffee i'm just having a leisurely morning with all these cats running around hi <laughs> That's real coffee. <laughs> Tonight we're having traditional Cook Island cuisine, which I'm really looking forward to. And they're doing like an hour long cultural dance, which should be amazing. I've been really looking forward to this. We're going to the Edgewater Resort Hotel, I think it's called. Um, so this dress, it just felt fitting. Just got my usual jewelry that I've been wearing the entire trip. And then I put my hair in this half up, half down little moment because I want to wear it down, but the humidity just does not <laughs> Did not agree with my hair. Yeah, gonna head out. Mm -hmm. 